So what's good, homies? This is your man, Dr. BOA. A lot of times, men ask me questions about what should they do if their ex or their child's mom or their, their estranged wife or some other woman that they're no longer actively engaged with moves on to another man. Either their friend or a rival of theirs. And the answer to both of those questions is exactly the same. You have to understand that you cannot control what a woman does with her body. You can't control what a woman does with her body when she's with you. And you certainly can't control what she does with her body when she's no longer with you. So whether she's with your enemy or your friend, you just have to accept the fact that she's no longer with you. And it's none of your concern. And for you men who say, well, she can do whatever she want to do, as long as she don't do it around my seed. If your seed is with her, she's going to do it around your seed. Wrap your mind around that concept because it is your reality. Now, recently, Diddy, Puffy, P. Diddy, whatever you want to call him, has been seen out with 50 Cent's son's mother. And people have been coming to 50 saying, hey, man, you see this? Of course, you know, the gossip spares around and people are like, man, look at this. You know, what's going on? And honestly, 50 Cent did a terrific job of showing you men how to handle it when your woman moves on, either to a friend or a rival. You should be focused on money, not that. Let's take a deep dive on this one. But first, let's elevate to a higher plane. Prepare for takeoff. Now the reality of the scenario is this. A woman's gonna do what she wants to do with her body. And if you're getting money, then you should really appreciate the fact that your woman moves on to another man who's getting money, no matter who it is. Because if she moves from you, being able to afford a certain lifestyle because of her affiliation with you, and moves on to a man who can't even come up and provide anything close to that lifestyle for himself, oh yes, the financial demands, especially if you have a child with her, are going to increase. They're going to wrap up on you. No matter what you're already providing, they're going to wrap up. Because we know a man's going to get in her head and try to get more money out of her, which means she's going to try to get more money out of you. But... 50's response to this is simple. The same thing my response would be. He simply says, man, Diddy and I are business rivals. We get into it over business, you know, we, we, we get at each other over business. If he liked the girl, he liked the girl. I don't care nothing about that. And that's what you may have to wrap your mind around. See, you men don't understand that just because you have a woman in your life in a certain capacity doesn't mean you have to have an emotional attachment to her. You can have a wife without having an emotional attachment to her. A wife is a position that she must fill with responsibilities. It has nothing to do with you loving her. You can have a child with a woman without loving her, without being emotionally attached to her. She's just a woman that you see as you know, the, the primary candidate for delivering your seed into the world. You don't have to have any emotional attachment to her. The problem with you guys is every time you deal with a woman, you feel like you have to have some type of emotional attachment to her. But you really don't. It's not necessary and it doesn't benefit you. And truth be told, it only benefits her short term because that's not what a woman wants from you. A woman doesn't want love from you. A woman wants provision and protection. She don't care anything about the other stuff. If some love comes along with it, yes, she'll benefit from it temporarily and take everything she can get out of you. But after a while, you become boring to a woman because you become predictable. The majority of men in this society are absolutely predictable by the woman that they win. She knows exactly what you're going to do. She knows exactly how you're going to respond. She knows exactly what she can get from you. She knows exactly how you're going to be no matter what happens. And she also knows that she can go and date one of your friends and get under your skin. She could possibly be doing this to get under 50 skin. Man, you think 50 care about that? He already moved on. And the little Cuban bra he got now is bad. 
better than his baby mama, in my opinion. So life is about steps and levels. And the only thing you men don't want to level up from is your woman. Like you feel like no matter where you go, you got to keep dragging the same woman along with you. Man, go from being, you know, busted and disgusted living on people's couch, man, to being, you know, a multimillionaire. And he thinks he's supposed to drag the same broad along with him. It's cool to take her along with you if she fits. Here's the thing about men. We shouldn't take people along with us. We should bring people along with us if they're along for the ride. See, people have to be along for the ride, which means they have to benefit the process. Otherwise, you're just carrying them along. You don't have to carry anyone along. The only people you got to carry along with you, man, is your minor children. And I do mean minor children, the ones who are underage, the ones who can't provide for themselves. Even your adult children or your, or your, you know, yeah, your adult children, they have to, you know, figure out a way to contribute to the process. They can't just be hanging out, hanging around. You have to groom them to grow into the business as well. So when you hear a man talk about this, about his son's mother, it's not even disrespect. He's not disrespecting her. There's no disrespect here at all. All he's doing is saying, okay, listen, here's what I want to do. I'm going to keep on focusing on my money. I'm not worried about that bra. Because all she is, is the same thing she was before she started dating Diddy. She's the mother of my child. And now that she's dating Diddy, you know what she is? She's the mother of my child. She's not my woman. She's not this. And you know, guys be all in their feelings, man. They be want to fight, guys. Man, don't bring nobody around my child, man. Don't bring nobody around my child. Man, let me tell you something. You're not with the woman no more, but you think she's going to be a monk? You guys are too sensitive. You're too in your feelings and you're always worrying about the wrong things, man. You have to be prepared to move on with your life when you move on with your life. And that means letting go of those positions you were in, which entails means the people who were in the positions in your life that they were in are not going to be in those positions anymore either. You know, people want people brought this up to this guy because they wanted him to respond like a simp. And he handled it like a G. He handled it like a boss. This is what a boss does. Relationships are not necessarily meant to last forever. Matter of fact, let's drop the necessarily. Relationships are not meant to last forever. If you catch one and it lasts long term, you have been blessed with, you know, a woman who is absolutely compatible with the process of your progress, who fits into your life. Hopefully you didn't make many compromises and she fits into your life like she's supposed to. But the majority of relationships are not going to last long term like that. Because let's be honest. Women don't want to grow with you. They want to benefit from your growth, but they don't want to grow with you. So relationships come and go. Women come and go. No matter how bad she is, no matter how young she is, no matter how dashing she is. And no matter how much of the fountain of youth she brings with the uh, sweet nectar between her thighs. It's still probably only going to be a temporary thing. You men must accept that. And stop spending your lives worrying about the actions and whereabouts of a woman that you're not even with. I want you to think about this. You wake up wondering about the whereabouts and actions of a woman you're not even with. And when you find out about them and you don't like them, you try to interfere with them. You try to stand in her way. You try to move in on the territory that is her life. You got to understand, brothers. Emotional Attachment is not the place for you to be as a man. It will have you out here doing stupid things like trying to control the woman that you're not with. When you know damn well you couldn't control the woman when you were with her. Some men even try to control the woman more when she's gone than they did when she was with them. Why? Because you regret losing the woman. There it is. That's that thing. If you regret losing a woman, you are delusional because you ain't never lost a woman a day in your life. You may have lost some money. You surely lost some time in life. Every time you waste time, you lose it. You may have lost some weight. You may have gained some weight. But you ain't never lost a woman because it is virtually impossible to lose a woman. So, Fitty didn't lose this woman to Diddy. On the contrary, Diddy is at his old tricks again, picking up dudes slappy seconds. It doesn't make any sense for dudes who are rich to be picking up other dudes sloppy seconds, man. It doesn't matter. And, and this is the sign that a man is a trick. When he picks up other dudes sloppy seconds, 
and he's pretty much just giving a woman the life. Hey, I can do this for you. I know, you know, he wasn't doing this for you. That's why all his relationships are temporary because women only be tr only want to be tricked off on by the same guy for a short period of time. Women love to be tricked off on, but they only want to be tricked off on by the same guy for a short period of time. Women, a woman don't want to have a lifetime being with one dude and all he is is a trick. No, because a woman cannot stand the energy of a trick for too long. She simply can't do it. You saw what happened when, when Cassie dipped out on him. Cassie dipped out as soon as his children's mom passed and he was trying to slide Cassie into that main role. Cassie was like, nah, bro, I can't deal with you on a regular basis like that. You a simp. And she moved on to a dude, man, that don't do nothing but work out. Why? Because that represents masculinity. No matter who you are, you build muscle, it represents masculinity because it increases testosterone. But later for Diddy. I say this in closing, man. You cannot ever worry about what a woman is doing when she's out of your presence. Because it's almost like you're trying to convince yourself to trust her when she's gone. And you can only trust a woman as far as you can see her. So when you blink your eyes, when they're closed, you can't trust her. When they open, you can't. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you men have to say. I'm out.